What up, fish people? Kenny E with Dedicate Aquatics. Well, moving right along in the top 100, we are got the number 52 on the Danicate Aquatics Top 100, and that is the Venustus. Nimbochromus Venustus is a Lake Malawi predator. Uh, it, they prefer the deeper water of the lake where they feed on other smaller cichlids. They can get quite big, up to 16 inches long. Mine are about mm, a good nine anyway. And as you can see, this is the male. They get the blue on them. These guys are getting quite old on me. These ones are probably close to five years old at this point. This is their temporary tank, but these two Venustas will be in my new tank. I gotta figure out what's going on with him. He's got himself a little bit of a owie on his front eyeball there. I wonder who's been picking at him. But they are a super cool fish. As juveniles, they don't have nearly the yellows in them. They're kind of a brownish with white stripes. And as they get older and more sexually mature, they start turning into this. And they're absolute stunning fish. And that's the female there. Just yellows in the face. And the males get more of the blues. You can get these, I can guarantee you, at almost any local fish store. And I know they do carry them at PetSmart and, and uh, Petco. Pretty common species of Lake Malawi. But they've always been one of my favorites. These and the Polystigma are probably my two, two of my favorites of this type. But these guys generally do take a tank over they're usually pretty uh pretty big about letting people know that they're the boss and they don't put up with a lot of uh garbage from the other they're one of the only ones i've seen hang with mabuna and the mabuna don't seem to bother them because they're used to having them on the uh food chart but as you can see very active fish I think I will, when things settle down, is I'd like to get these two. Problem is that their babies aren't worth much. Because they are so common in the hobby. But I've never bred mine. And I probably should before they get too much older. After all, you got BAP points with the old local club to think about. There she is. She's a little more camera friendly than he is. But it's apparently they've been uh, some. I don't know if it's those two fighting or if it's been the VC-10 and them going at it. But somebody in them, they've all got little battle wounds on them. That's not good. There's the VC-10. He always has to be a ham and coming up and say hello. He's a little more energetic than when I shot him in our top 100 if you all recall he's the one that liked to lay on the ground and just kind of chill right now they're acting rather aggressive because they think it's time to get fed but they are an amazing fish guys if you're new to the hobby I would definitely recommend an African cichlid tank relatively easy to maintain you just got to have harder water with you know pH somewhere around that eight to eight five mark, seven eight could get away with. There are African rift salts and stuff to help you buffer your water, and there's some people put coral in there. I like the African lace rock is what I use a lot of in my tanks. And as you guys can see, I've got a ton of mutt maboon in here, so I think they'll be going to the pet store. There's some pretty ones in there. I'm not sure if those are Mimbuna or what those are. Could be. I've got so many different things in here, it's hard to say what they are. And I've got that little guy. I know what that is. That's one of the mamas right there. 
But I don't see any of the males of those left, so I don't know what would have gotten her. So anyway, I'm probably going to do a reset on this tank soon. When our showroom is complete, this is going to be one of my show tanks out there. And I think this is going to be an African tank. But I these guys need bigger tank now. I think I might save the Venusis. I would like to get about a 180 to 200 for them. Along with some other, I'd like to do African hops. Predator hops, I think would be cool. I'm surprised that they, I'm sure they've ate their share of these baby Mambuna already. Because that's basically what they do in the wild. So anyway guys, if you like this content, go ahead and that, hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. So... Coming in at number 52, and he's trying to get frisky with her because he probably wants to have some lovings. So coming in at number 52 is the Venustus Nimbochromus Venustus. So as always, guys, love your fish. This is Kenny E. with Danikin Aquatics checking out for now. Y'all have an amazing night.